Hello everybody! Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem 7 playthrough. We are in the middle of the Living Le Legend chapter, and uh, we still have a bit more to go. Um, got a couple of annoyances to take care of. Honestly, I think I'm going to actually back away here and uh, not approach the boss just yet, because these reinforcements could kind of get in the way, so... I'm going to play this a little conservatively to my own benefit, so it makes sense to, you know, be careful if you need to. That's all you can really do, honestly. Uh, so let's go ahead and get you guys moving. Also going to get Hawkeye going around so he can also help us look for treasure. We already got that... Uh, Ocean Seal, but we need to get some other items, too. Oh, okay, we have our first support option between Elliewood and Ninian. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Lord Elliewood. Ninian. I, I'd like to thank you. Huh? What is it? Why the formality? Lady Lynn told me. She told me it was you. You were the one who helped me one year ago. Oh, that. I apologize. I, I had lost consciousness. And I fear I never properly thanked you, Lord Elliewood. Don't let it concern you. I wanted to help. But still. Hmm. Ah, I know. Next time you're free, show me your dancing. Not one of those little dances. Something special. A special dance, my lord? Er, sorry. Didn't mean to sound too forward. No, not at all. I mean, I'd be glad to. Great. Then it's a deal. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, yes, I am too. <laughs> I think it's great just because, like, they've had so many dances already. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just beautiful. That's beautiful in every sort of way. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll go ahead and give this kill to Kanas since he's about to level up. Also, I need to look through this uh, square for items, too. <laughs> Damn it, I have to move now. No, oh, whatever, we'll do this first, then we'll look. Okay. And again, I don't know the exact percentage, but it's it's pretty low considering. Like I wanna say like the percentage is pretty much your luck. And there's some units that have, like, slightly boosted chances of finding it. But, you know, it's, it's never a likelihood that you're just going to find it immediately. And, I mean, that, that makes sense. It shouldn't be. But, like, you know, you, you could be spending a long time looking for something. And still not yet. Okay, we'll go ahead and use you to finish off this guy. Frickin' doesn't even need the Iron Lance to double and finish this guy. Slim Lance does just well... And, yep, there's the crit. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that crit to come ar come around. Okay, let's uh, focus on this. Will, for the love of God, don't get a freaking crit. Thank you. <laughs> that was not for you last time. I don't care what you think. <laughs> and they, see, this is actually kind of good, because I can use Wrath... And get the kill on this guy, too. So it all works out properly. That's going to be two more kills for Wrath. He should be able to kill that archer, I imagine. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to. Also, just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and just give a freaking barrier to Raven. Not because he needs it, but Priscilla can't exactly do anything right now. Might as well give her something to work with. Okay, let's start working on this again. Okay, got those. So yeah, Elliewood and Ninian have their first uh, support now. Uh, this is a support relationship that I want to finish before chapter... I want to say chapter 27, I think? Yeah, chapter 27 sounds about right, so I want to make sure I get them to A before that. 
And I will actually start support grinding soon. Because, um, you know, it, again, I really don't like the way supports are done here. Because you have to pretty much leave units next to other units for a long amount of time. And when I say a long amount of time, like you can have turns in the 40s or 60s. I think even in the 80s in some cases. So it can take a long time to get a support relationship fully developed. And um, because of that, if you want to go for supports, you're more than likely not going to get a good score for your tactician rating because you'll be spending a lot of time just grinding those out. But, uh, you know, they are fun. They give you a nice little backstory about the characters, which is honestly my favorite part. I already love the characters of this game, and just the fact you get more backstory is even more of a reward, at least in my opinion. Um, do I want to just go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and do this, because reasons. Let's go with the Steel Lance, just so we can finish you up in one shot. Then we can start looking for this damn item that's here. It's taken a long time, but it I know it's there. It's definitely there. Okay, let's go ahead and be strategic here. Yeah, because I need to get you healed. Wow, you actually missed. Okay, good. You were using a longbow, which is not as accurate, so I can't fault you too much for that, Wrath. Also, weapon level increased. Are you at a B now? You're at a B. Okay. So let's start working on this. Uh, I'm not too worried because Raven is really strong. He's not that strong, I guess, but... He is really strong, and again, this guy shouldn't be able to, like, double us or kill us or anything. Especially with these units, so we should be okay. But I am gonna start luring him over, and then maybe we can start getting some good hits in to maybe finish him off. Because most of our units are going to be sword units, uh, we'll have a pretty high chance of avoiding his attacks, but still, like, he's not weak by any means. He's not a weak boss at all. So I'm still just trying to be careful here. Okay, you two lovebirds still marching through the sands. Okay, enemy turn. Here we go. Ouch, he actually hit. I was not expecting that. And see, I'm in a position where I do have to be a little careful because... Yeah, I'm going to need to push him. Can I get... Okay, I can. Good. Let's do this. You're... Oh, shoot, you have the ocean seal. Well... In that case, trade. Yar, give me that, Legault. <laughs> That's what I imagine him saying. Okay. So I think if I move him, if I move Raven here, he can't get to Priscilla. So I think he's good, or at least Priscilla's good. If I do this. And see, this is also a case where Raven's not going to die in two hits. So I think this is pretty safe. And can I... Honestly, should use the Steel Sword because it's just going to do more damage overall. Okay, good. He missed. And just to verify... Okay, yeah, we're good. So here's a question. I can... I could get these guys closer. But that would be really, really dangerous to attack under those pretenses. Oh, especially Will. Yeah, Will, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and shoot them. Because if I hit... 
It's free experience, and it's experience against a promoted unit, too. So, not terrible. Wrath is even going to get another level up out of this. And eh, not crazy about that level up, honestly. Oh, shoot, I forgot the... I don't know why I did that. The, whoops. I mean, I kept, technically, I guess they they can't really gain any more support levels anyway, because I don't think it's, like, collectively. I think it's, like, 80, get the support, and then the next map, like, the, the number is again. It's not 80 for these two. These two gain it fast, but, uh, you know, I think that, like, the additional numbers don't count until after the map. I think, anyway. I don't know for... 100% certainty, obviously, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Okay, let's do this. Um, go ahead, finish this off. Because I still haven't found the item over here, which is kind of annoying. There's still five items left to find. And I'm, and I'm about to take on the first boss, so hopefully I find them soon. Kind of a mesh level up, but at least it was strength, and Fiora's gotten some good level ups already, so I'm not too down about that. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and let them come forward. Man, I am not having any luck with that item. Okay, so Jasmine goes for Legault. For some reason, I thought this was Paul, but no, I guess Paul has the Killer Axe. You do take damage, I think. If I do this, though, I'm fine. I should be able to finish him up this turn anyway. Let's see if I get the kill with Wrath or Will. Uh, I want to say even better, but eh. Maybe not so much Will there. Okay, this should be the end of Jasmine. Let's see if I can get the kill with Wrath here. I could, if he hits. Short bow would be well actually it's about the same percentage. Let's go for it. Damn it. I don't want to give the kill to Will though. Could give it to Legault. He can he can do it. <laughs> You know what, sure, why not? He's kind of behind in levels anyway, so may as well. I got hit, but it feels so good. These people are too strong, Paul. Not bad, not bad. No strength, but a good defensive level up. Can't complain about that. Also, let's go ahead and move you... Yeah, I guess I'm going to start moving these guys inward. Still have not found this item, which is really, really concerning. Not really concerning, but it's just annoying I haven't done it yet. Here, let me use Urk, because Urk needs to get some experience, too. He's not really doing anything right now. Okay. And his fire tome breaks. That's enough of that. Okay, got the body ring. That actually increases constitution. So again, if, if a unit has low constitution, that's a good item to give because it means that less likely they'll be doubled because they can carry more uh, heavier weapons with ease. So not a bad thing to find. I used to like think that was just like a really, really bad thing to find. Because I thought that Constitution was more of a weight thing, and it's just like, well, why would you need that? But no, that's actually really good, because that factors into, like, whether or not you can double. So I'm glad I kind of, like, came around on that, so to speak. Uh, so with that, we can actually move forward again, finally. Uh, there's two items here by these bones. 
There's one item here in this L shape. And there's also an item here in this L shape. So we need to find both of those now. I could get lucky and just find them both immediately. And there's also uh, two more items in this square and in this square. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can maybe lure out this with Fiora. We'll see anyway. I'll go ahead and do this. This way I can maybe find the item and also uh, kill this guy. Good job, Urk. You're level 17 now. Yes, you are. Good job, boy. Good job. Not bad, either. I'll take that. Urk has been doing really well. I, I, I was... After that very first level up he got, I was so set on using him. Then he got really disappointing level ups uh, for, like, two or three levels. But after that, he's been really stepping up his game. His defense could be better, but, like, I'm not gonna... Hold them to too high of a standard. Okay, there we go. I love how Ellie Wood and Indian are just kind of like casually strolling through the desert. Wait until they get the end here. Get another almost perfect level up for Ninian. I'd love to see that. Um, as far as over here, you have some healing you can do. I have just one, actually, but still. You know, it's something. It's not, not too bad, really. I can't really do a whole lot with Priscilla right now, though. In fact, I actually have to kind of, once again, waste a barrier staff. In fact, one problematic thing that I could have going for me right here is I don't really have a high defensive unit. Right now our highest defense is, well, Hawkeye. <laughs> but after that it's Elliewood of all people. And uh, this guy has some strength. He can do 30 damage. Let's see, 30 damage minus 12. Technically 13 due to weapon triangle. That's still... Easy to, like, one-shot units with, so I have to be very, very cautious with how I do this. Thankfully, I do have a flying unit, so I can kind of use her to save my units if I need to. But I um, will definitely want to use um, distance strats for a bit of this. Okay, I'm gonna, once again, going to keep looking for these items. There we go, got the Eclipse. Eclipse is a 5-use Dark Tome. Uh, the, there is a huge problem with Eclipse, though. It's very inaccurate, first of all. It's also very heavy, from what I remember. Yeah, 12, I think that's pretty heavy. And also, it doesn't actually kill units. It only halves their HP. So you could get, like, a unit down to 4 HP. Eclipse will only do 2 damage. So, not a great tome. I think the other uh, distance spells are better. At least in my opinion. Here we got another item. We have the Light Brand. It's a sword that can attack from a distance. But it uses magic instead of, like, your weapon strength. So, I think in this case, like, it'll always do 9 damage. I want to say... Maybe not, though. I, I don't really know for 100% certainty, but either way, we found it. Uh, there is another item over here. We're about done. We only have two items to find. One's a promotion item, and the other one's a uh, actually a unique item for Ninian, of all people. So hopefully we find that, and then we can also start worrying about the boss as well. Okay, go ahead and heal Wrath. And see, also, staff experience and dance experience also counts for that 700 we're trying to get for the subchapter, so we should be more than covered for um, basically getting that subchapter. I feel pretty confident in our ability to get that.
We do need to be very, very careful as we're approaching this next part, though. Um, okay, there's Phila's Might. That is an item for Ninian. Uh, it increases allies' attack powder power for a turn. So it's basically the opposite of Nini's Grace. I'd almost say that could actually be even better than Nini's Grace, because attack power is also pretty cool. I'm not sure if you can actually use both rings at the same time, though. Like, I think it might override the uh, advantages. I don't know that for a fact. Honestly, I really don't even use the rings that much, but, you know, I'm trying to be a little more inventive in this playthrough. We just have one more item to look for. I'll probably send Legault over in that direction. Because I actually need to kind of use Fiora for this next part. Because, um... This part could be dangerous. Paul is definitely no slouch. Also, just for fun, let me see here. Oh, well, I'll do it next turn. <laughs> Yeah, you're fine there. Again, just need to find that last item and we're good. Damn it. Damn it. Actually, let's do this. Hello there. Beautiful weather, isn't it? Er, yes, yeah, sure. Pardon, I'm in the midst of some confusion. I beg your leave. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'd be confused too, honestly. <laughs> that seemed pretty confusing. Also, look at this Hawkeye sprite. Is he literally just wearing a loincloth? Because that could be a bit uncomfortable. Not for him. Like, he, he probably feels really great about that, but... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. Um, anyway, uh, basically what I'm kind of thinking about here is obviously Kanas would be a good unit because, again, we have that crit rate. If he crits, that's 42 damage. So we really just have to kind of get close and then get the final blow in. So that's not too bad. I'm also going to move you closer so you can get healed first. Because, again, Priscilla's been kind of unable to do stuff. For a large part of this chapter because all the damaged units have been so far away. Uh, let's see. There is also a, you know, there is a chance that Paul might actually go over here to this fort as well, which would not be great. Well, let's go ahead and at least get some damage in on him to start with here. If we do get him down, I may be tempted to just try and finish this, because I should be able to finish that if he does get a crit. So, we'll see. Let's get a Luna in. Nope. Does not crit. And he may not heal yet. I think you have to be, like, really low before the units will actually start healing. So, I think we're good there. Should have moved you first, though. Because now you're going to be a little annoying. So go ahead and take you, drop you down, and we can just get the attack going next time. We're about done, though. This chapter is wrapping up very quickly. I mean, technically, I don't really need a hero crest. Because I'm not really using any, like, heroes or... Well, I mean, I, I will be using a hero, but, like... I think he's the only one that'll benefit from a hero crest, so... Technically wasting my time a little bit. Also, yeah, I don't want to move Will there. That'd be stupid. Okay, let's see here. Can't quite get you up and around, so I'll do this, move you one. Dance with you, and I don't really want to attack with Kanas right now, because if I kill him, well, there goes that item we've been looking for, and 
that would be bad. I think that's just out of his range. It is. Okay, we're good. So hopefully we'll find that next turn and we can end this. Can I at least maybe... trying to find the best place for this. <laughs> here, let's do this. Let's move. Damn it, I can't really move anyone in the right place. Here, we'll do this. You at least do a normal attack. That shouldn't make you retreat, I hope. You could have also just got a crit right there and ended it anyway with flux. And again. I actually forgot to rescue. Oh well. There we go. Got the hero crest. We're done. Fortunately, though, I'm gonna. If only I had a killer weapon, that would be nice. <laughs> That'd be really, really nice. Could finish it with Ellie Wood. Okay. Here we go. It's all gonna go down this time. Gonna do one more flux, maybe even a Nosferatu with Kanas. If he misses, like, whatever. Not a huge deal. And let's see if we can get the kill with Wrath here. It's gonna need to be a Steel Bow shot, so it's not very likely, but it could happen. Yes! Crit! Alright. I can't believe we lost, brother. Oh, it's a tragedy, Jasmine. Tragedy for you guys, maybe. For me, it went pretty well. <laughs> okay, so there we go. 13. Eh, not crazy about that level up either, honestly. You really helped me out. Thank you. We couldn't watch such a lopsided battle, that's all. So why have you come to this wasteland? Well, we were told to come here and meet a living legend. Living legend? Ha ha ha. I see. That's well said. But do you know what it means? Yes, I suppose I do. Looks like we share a common destination. Hawkeye, you're here too? Pent, did you find it? That I did. And as I thought, it's spectacular. It's getting dark. Let's go back. Yes, let's make haste. Desert nights are treacherous. Oh, okay. And we are going to get the side quest. Of course we're going to do it. And we're going to see what happens immediately. I don't mind going with you, but how far do we have to walk? No matter how far we go, there's just more sand. Whoa! Hector! What is it, he- Gah! Hector? Lindus? Where did those two- Huh? What in blazes? I'm- I'm sinking into the sand. And that's where it ends. See what happens next time. Later, folks.